Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to talk to you guys about my job and working at Airy. So Airy is a store that is basically linked to American Eagle. At my mall, we have an American Eagle and then there's a separate room. <sighs> my phone. There's a separate room that's smaller on the other side where it's just airy. So if you walk into the mall, there'll be American Eagle, kind of a big store. It's not like super big, but it's like a decent size. And then you go next door and then there's airy. I applied in February, got the job that month. It's May now. And I think during my whole time there, it's been three months, well, like two and a half maybe, because I applied there like February 25th. So basically the end of February, it's May 16th today. I have not worked all of this week. It's Thursday. I have not worked last week except for one day and it was a four hour shift. All of my shifts are four hours. I only get, all right, so in a good week, I will get maximum two four hour shifts. And like, I think working here at Aerie is the second lowest I've gotten paid kind of in a way, kind of it's the first. Um, I work at the hideout where I got paid 750 plus tips. Um, so that's actually quite a bit of money. And I worked um, at the hideout a lot. Working at Aerie, I get paid $9 an hour. Like what? $9 an hour. I get four hour shifts. I live alone. I don't have my parents to help me. Um, I have bills to pay. I need food. Like literally I don't have any support at all. I'm like, my phone is off right now cause I freaking this job is terrible, like it's terrible. When I applied there, I went in, got my interview. The girl who interviewed me was actually really nice. She was like, oh yeah, like what kind of hours are you looking for? Like we're hoping to hire for Aerie, not American Eagle. And she was just kind of making sure that I knew that I was going to be put in Aerie, not American Eagle. And I was like, yeah, I mean, that's what I applied for. To work in Aerie because it says part-time. Even though it did say part-time, she told me I would get at least like 25 to 30 hours a week but going in there all throughout working there i feel like i only worked about 10 shifts literally in three months maybe less like i feel like i barely work i only get like two shifts a week and it's terrible she told me i would be getting at least 25 to 30 something hours a week maybe on a good week sometimes it could be less but i wasn't expecting to get eight hours a week and mind you sometimes they don't even schedule me for the whole week so i work one week the next week i'll have off so i only get paid like 30 dollars I kind of have this list on my phone that I really want to talk to you guys about these issues and also my camera battery is blinking at me so let me change the battery and I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god. I am like kind of pissed now because the fact that I'm making this video and talking about what I'm gonna be talking about makes me mad and also I just recorded like 15 minutes of footage without turning on my mic so I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> now I gotta talk about all this stuff over again. All right. Let me get my freaking list. I don't even know where I started before. Okay, so we talked about how I barely get any shifts and stuff. So I'm gonna go on to my manager. So my manager, we're gonna call her Sam. Um, all right, actually let's start with the interview and the onboarding process. Interview was great. This girl named, we're just gonna call her Katie. This girl, Katie, she was like, Mm, super nice she was asking me like what kind of hours are you looking for like we can probably give you like 25 to 30 hours a week and i was like okay yeah i'm cool with that like that's totally fine by me part-time not full full-time but it'll help me get by for now there's a hair in my mouth um it'll help me get by for now she was like okay great we'll have the manager call you i got a call back the next day the interview was like literally six minutes or something it was so short pretty basic manager called me told me to come in said i got the job and told me to come in for my onboarding process i went in for the onboarding process basically i watched a whole bunch of videos met the manager of the airy side of the store we're gonna call her sam she told me basically what i was gonna be doing in the store and like showed me the videos i was supposed to watch and showed me like like the whole store, Airy side and American Eagle side. So yeah, the whole entering Airy process was pretty easy. First actual shift working and doing things, I worked with Katie and she told me I did really good. Like actually like really happy when she told me, she was like, you actually did really good. Most girls can't handle being on this side of the store alone by themselves, but you are doing really well. And I was like, okay, thanks girl. Like I've worked in retail before. Like the store's pretty small. It's cool. Like I don't mind it. I think my fourth shift, my fourth shift is where things got pretty annoying like it just went downhill from my fourth shift so I started to get 
getting more shifts with Sam, my manager, and first time I opened with her in the morning, my alarm went off late and I got ready in like five minutes and I made it to the mall. I was 10 minutes late for work. I'm sorry, not proud of that. Never usually late for work at all, but my alarm didn't go off like shit happens and so i get into work oh crap like that's the manager hopefully she doesn't like hate me or anything okay so i walk in i head straight to the back because i'm late already so i want to go put my stuff down get clocked in and she didn't say anything to me so i walked straight to the back got clocked in came back out she was like okay so i'm gonna have to let you know about our attendance policy because you can't be coming in late like i can't be here by myself i'm like girl there's no one in the store yet we open in like 30 minutes so I was kind of just like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Like my alarm went off late. Like it didn't go off at all actually. So that's why I'm late and my boyfriend had to drive me to work. So sorry. I don't even think she said anything after that. She was just like, okay, well anyways, this is what we have to do today. This is how much you need to make. Like this is how much I need from you today. After that whole situation, the day was just kind of awkward for me. Like I felt like she hated me the whole time. Still do. Still think she fucking hates the shit out of me. Um. So yeah, that whole week, that whole shift went on pretty awkwardly. We didn't talk. There was like silence the whole time. Oh, it was, it's a small store. It's just the two of us walking past each other, like through the store the whole time. And I'm like, oh my God. I don't know. It becomes like three o'clock or something when I'm about to get off at like four. Yeah. So this other girl comes in. She's about to walk in because she's going to take my shift. And then Sam, she's like, oh, hey, da -da -da -da. like her name, like says her name. Like, how are you today? Like, how's your day? And then she starts humming to herself and she's like, hmm, 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 hmm like working on papers and stuff. I was on the register at this time. So like checking someone out and the girl clocks in next to me. And then Sam's there behind me like, oh, hey girl, da -da -da -da. making like small talk. And I'm like, pretty sure this girl's new too. Why are you being so giddy with her? And then I was like, hey Sam, is it okay for me to clock out? And she's like, uh, yeah, you can go now. So I just clocked out. I was like, bitch, I'm getting the fuck out of here because today was super annoying. Basically, every time I work with Sam, like that's how it goes. It's just super awkward. She doesn't talk to me. I don't talk to her unless I have a question because that is my manager. Like I'll be like, hey, do you know where this goes? Like it's not out on the floor. And she'll be like, yeah, that's sale and shit. <sighs> Like, I'm a really awkward person, so I feel like if someone hates me, I'm just like, oh my god, cringe on the inside and on the outside because I'm like, oh my god. My alarm didn't go off for one day and you hate me. So yeah, every time I work with her, she just like criticizes me. I think I've only worked with her like three times. I don't get scheduled that much, so she she's just there. I don't know who I'm working with that day because the schedule only shows my hours. Just kind of like, please, I hope I'm not working with Sam because... The bitch hates me. I feel it. She doesn't even need to tell me. Like, I feel it. I can sense her negative hating vibes. I think Sam is the reason my shifts have been pretty shitty lately. Um, yeah, I feel like ever since that day, my shifts have been weird. I've been only getting scheduled once or like I get called out of work. I don't call out, but they call me and they tell me not to come in because it's like super slow or something. And it won't even be Sam who calls me, even though she's the airy side manager, it'll be some guy. I actually didn't know who called me that day, but he was like, hey, just letting you know. Actually, I think I have the voicemail still saved. Hello, um, Gina, this is Francisco from uh, American Eagle at Springfield. Just calling to tell you that you don't have to come in today. We are actually really, really slow, so you're good to take the day off. Thank you. Bye. So yeah, I was literally in the process of getting my Uber when I got that call. I could have lost money. For me, just because I Uber, it's kind of like, ugh, I really can't lose my money because Uber takes up a lot of my money, like a lot of it, because I have to get to work, from work. I don't drive, I don't have my license. Kind of a long story. Might talk about it in another video, but I'm hoping to get my license soon because I kind of, I really need it. They called me out. That's not the first time they called me out. They called me out two or three times. Kind of pisses me off because that would be my second shift in the week and they'll be like, hey, you don't have to come in so basically only worked one week and that's like what's nine times four 36 that's like 36 they take out tax or something that's like 30 dollars or something just for working one day so that's uh, another thing that makes me mad is that they call me out and tell me not to come in when I've barely even been working any hours. And I think the first time they called me to not come in was literally in my fifth shift. So yeah, that's that. Also, another one that has to do with my schedule. They will literally take me off the schedule the day before coming in. Last week, I had a situation like that where I checked my schedule the day before. Woke up the next morning because it said I had to open. I got ready and I got my Uber, went to the mall. I get to the store. My manager opens the door. Sam, she She's giving me this face as I walk up to the closed glass door. She's like, 
like holding her little papers in her hand. You're not on the schedule today. And then she like turns around. She's not even looking at me when she's talking. She's like, yeah, I don't have you. And she just walks away. And then I just turn around and I'm like, well, before she walked away, I was like, are you sure? She was like, yeah, I don't have you today. And she walks away. And I just kind of turn around and I'm like, okay. Like I literally was like, okay, I'll just go home. That's what I said. I don't know if she heard me or not. I was pretty quiet about it. I was like, all right, go home. Uh, thanks. Spent $10 to get there. Uh, leaves me with like literally no money. I had to have a friend Venmo me a few dollars, which I don't like to do at all. The struggle is real right now. And that's what I had to do unless I wanted to wait at the mall for like six hours until my boyfriend got off of work, which I really did not want to do. But if I had no choice, I would have. Maybe I would have walked, you know? Who knows? Would have walked home. But I really feel like, on, someone's screaming upstairs. I want to eavesdrop. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Sometimes I just want to know if I hear her, like I feel like people are talking about me, so I kind of need to listen, but it wasn't about me, so I really don't care. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> If this video doesn't make any sense to you, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of ranting because I really, this is the worst job that I've ever had, to be honest. So the next thing that I have written down is breaks. Breaks at Airy suck. I've had jobs where you get a 15 minute break and like an hour break for lunch. If you've worked like a seven hour shift, but at Airy, it's like you work eight hours and you get 30 minutes and then you work four hours and it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Like. 10 minutes, why not 15? Like that may not be a big difference, but I feel like to me it kind of is. Like I'd rather have 15 than 10 because by the time I'm out of the store, like I basically have to come back. I just don't like the breaks. They're short. And I remember one time I didn't even get a break at all. Freaking Mander forgot and I was like, hey, I was sick too. Like I was sick, didn't eat breakfast because I don't have fucking money to buy breakfast that time. Mm, this job is a joke. So in my last shift that I went to, which was I think like last week, beginning of the week, I had to watch a video. So my manager Sam gave me an iPad to watch. She was like, here, you gotta watch this video, go to the back. I went to the back, watched the video, came back out. And the video was basically talking about like, if you sell a certain group of products, you get like a ticket and it's like a raffle, like whoever gets more tickets, like wins or something. And I remember selling some of the items that day and I didn't get anything. We're supposed to be wearing these fanny packs while we're at work. Anytime your manager sees you selling one of those she's supposed to give you a little ticket for the groups of products you just sold she made me watch that video and i was working with her that day so the manager was with me sam was with me she saw me like purchasing all the items because it was just me and her and she didn't give me any tickets the district manager was there that day because i talked to him and he was telling me about the whole thing that was going to happen and like the tickets and the manager giving it to me I was like oh okay cool yeah that didn't happen at all and i remember sam while the district manager was talking to me sam was standing there at the register watching me and him talk so like girl you need to get fired or something you are just not working with me like me and her like we're not cooperating at all i'm not even doing anything i was late for work once and i think that's why she fucking hates me she's probably like Argh. she's probably gonna be late all the time i'm not gonna like be nice to her i'm just gonna be the bossy manager that i am <sighs> That's what happened that day. Didn't get any tickets. She's probably like messing with my schedule too. Oh, since I don't schedule her that often, maybe I don't even need to get her the tickets. Like maybe she doesn't even need to win because she doesn't work a lot. The last thing I have on here is favoritism. I've already told you guys about this. Like any other girl who works and like comes in, she'll be like, oh, hey says the name will start like humming i don't know what her issue is she like hums whenever she sees someone she likes and i'm like girl do you not notice what you're doing like i'm here working with you another girl comes and you're like oh hey how are you how's your day this is what we have to do la, 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 la. like talk to her the whole time oh she's working i'm gonna go up to her and talk to her while me i'm in the corner the store like da -da -da, doing my thing like talking to the customers like my manager's being bitched to me like hello help me because this is a freaking awkward that's basically all i have on my list like if you wanted it in a short story it's like basically airy has not many hours my store is tiny like this is just based on my experience the hour suck the store is tiny not many hours they take me off the schedule all the time my manager is actually really bad like i think she's a bad manager to me that's my opinion She's a terrible manager. I really don't like her. Coworkers are cool. The breaks suck. And there's favoritism. Honestly, I didn't think my first few shifts that that was going to be an issue because everyone was being so nice to me. It was until I started working with Sam, my manager, and I got to know her a little bit more. Like, not that I've even talked to her to get to know her, but the way that she acts with me, like, I've gotten 
to see like what kind of person she is what kind of vibe she gives off and like how she makes me feel and i just don't like her i do not like her at all sometimes i'll be doing my thing at work and i'll look up and she like quickly turns away because she's like staring at me and i feel like she's like trying to see if i'm doing something wrong like i'm not stupid we're working with clothes bikinis underwear you don't even need to hang underwear you just need to place them down with bikinis you just need to hang them with the hangers right on the edge girl i am not stupid like literally I mean, I'm just waiting for them to schedule me next. I don't even think I'm gonna go in because I have my final interview at Ulta. I'd rather be working there than wasting my money, taking Ubers to go into work and just going in there and getting criticized by your manager. Like that is not something I want to work around. That's not something I want to deal with every day when I go to work, especially if they give me more hours, I will not work with Sam. I hate that manager so much with a passion. I never did anything to her. I was like one time I do my work. I don't talk to anybody. It's just frustrating. I expected this many hours and you give me freaking four four or eight in two weeks. You don't even schedule me for a whole entire week. My phone is off now. I can't get food. I am starving. I need to get an Uber every time I go to work. And if I do go, she's like, oh, you don't work. Okay, like, let me just go home. Let me get some money from my friend. Like, just cause they can just throw me money like that. Or let me just get my parents to throw me some money. Like, I can't do that. Like, I really don't have the support. So this job is terrible. Airy is a terrible, I'm not gonna say they're a terrible company cause I don't know. I'm just gonna say that the Airy at Springfield mall in Virginia is shitty and terrible and their management sucks. That's all I really wanted to say. I just wanted to vent. I just wanted to talk about how my job is frustrating me and how I was expecting one thing and just like to get another thing out of it. It's like it sucks. I'm going in to do work just to get like $30 out of it. Like what is $30? $30 is nothing. That's not even enough to pay my phone bill. My phone bill, I haven't paid it. It's gone up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of stressing out. This might be too personal to tell you but I don't really care. Like, I just need to vent right now. And yeah, thank you guys for listening. I just had to get a lot of that off of my chest and nobody will really listen to me. Well, maybe they will. Maybe I just need to show from this video and they'll be like, oh shit, that's what you're going through at your job? Yes. And I hate it. Aerie sucks. If you guys want to work at Aerie, if you're in college or something and you need extra money and your parents are helping you or like you're good with money and you just need extra money, I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. And Aerie is a good job for you. If you're looking for like a full-time job and something with like set hours, Aerie is not the job for you. <sighs> This video is really stressful. It was making me think of like all the situations that have happened to me at work and I don't know. I'm just happy to be moving to Ulta this week. Well, not this week. I have my final interview this week and then hopefully in the next few weeks or by the end of this month, I can be working at Ulta because I love makeup. The lady that interviewed me was super nice. Like I'm freaking awkward. I just want to work around some nice people. You know, who doesn't struggle sometimes with their jobs and stuff, especially at my age. I'm like 21, still figuring things out. Thank you guys so much for listening to <laughs> my rant. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!